a lot of people have been saying that the oil belongs to the north. First of all, what's your view about this and why? You know what I said? The oil in Bielsa belongs to Jigawa. The oil in Delta belongs to Jigawa where I come from. Why? Because we are called Federal Republic of Nigeria. And under the Constitution, all resources belong to the government of Nigeria and should be shared, you know, accordingly. Constitutionally, 13% derivation will go to the oil producing states. So as of today, the oil in Bayelsa belongs to Borno. The oil in Bayelsa belongs to, of course, Jigawa and other states. So until the constitution is changed, but it's, a, it's commonwealth. Simple. I'm just wondering, you said you have some proof about why they should arrest President Jonathan. Do you mind telling us just a few of the reasons why he should be arrested and locked up? One, as I said, if uh, President Bashir of Sudan will be sought after for war against humanity, we have evidence of photographs of military personnel slaughtering people alleged to Boko Haram. We have them. I have. I brought them here to U.S. So you think the president knows about it? Absolutely. They, he is the commander in chief of the armed forces of Nigeria, and in all his setting up committees, we've not had him setting up a committee to investigate those kind of extrajudicial killings, or the killing in Zaria, or the attempted murder of General Buhari, or the attempted murder of late Evian of Kano, or the attempted murder of the late uh, of the uh, Shewo Borno or that the murder of Jafar, so many people were killed and nothing happened. And we have documented evidence against the armed forces and some security personnel that he is leading. That's one. Then two, we also have evidence of Mr. President colluding with alleged Boko Haram sponsors. Anybody who is running from, I mean, uh, people that are f financing Boko Haram run to him. And he works with them. He, we have this evidence, which we hope, I hope, before he leaves here, Obama will grant my request and order the arrest of Jonathan Goodluck. Who are some of the people that you think are funding Boko Haram? Jonathan Goodluck is number one, and his cohorts. The evidence I will show when uh, I'm called upon. But with everything going on in Washington, you're also here, but you stand as opposition member. So who sponsored your trip here? I sponsored myself. I own a furniture factory, one of the largest furniture factories in the northern part of the country. I've had it for the last 25 years before I joined politics. I'm not a poor man, absolutely. I can afford to, to travel first class, stay in five-star hotel. I, have, I mean, I could afford to do this thing for a very long time. I sponsored myself here. And you came just to make sure that they arrest President Jonathan. But why is he not, why was he not arrested in Nigeria? Why is it that America has to do it? Because he has immunity. And the American government went to arrest in, in, in Noriega from Nicaragua. So it's easier for them now he's here. So let them just arrest him here. And you know, in, you can't even arrest a governor in Nigeria. They have immunity. But in America, he has no immunity. And I hope, I pray they will arrest him. And you want him jailed here or take him back to Nigeria to be tried? Well, I would want him to be jailed anywhere. I will, first of all, to be tried. I would want him to be tried. And if he's found not guilty, he should be acquitted and discharged. But if he's found guilty, I would want him to spend uh, the prison term in Kirikiri. Nigeria. Nigeria, of course. So um, what would be your strategy in dealing with Boko Haram? First of all, you know, sincerity of purpose. The committees, open committees that the government has set up on Boko Haram, what are they doing with the, with the, with the report? If nobody from Borno State, where this thing started, nobody has been arrested today. Nobody. Like, from when the crisis started to date, we have no people that are in prison today. The strategy is, one, to deal decisively with the sponsors because the Nigerian security agency know the sponsors of Boko Haram. They know them. Even we also know them. And those but are, you're not mentioning it. Yes, I'm not mentioning it now. That's what I'm saying. If they arrest Jonathan Goodluck, but he's number one, then other names will follow. When he's arrested, then we'll come up with the names. 
that we know which he knows they know the scripture and just know but up till now none of them is arrested nobody is prosecuted for that only the foot soldiers alleged foot soldiers some are massacred some are with them some they will arrange some uh, caricature uh, riot in SSA headquarters and kill them because they probably don't want to squeal you know they want us to know because look we as Nigerians need to know if they arrest one person they should tell us what he did we need to know but they don't tell you recently they repatriated somebody from Sudan and probably that's the last you will hear of him I'm telling you this is Nigeria that's the last you'll hear of him they will not come and tell us exactly what has happened to him so that's that's what we're saying if if Jonathan is brought to trial we shall bring out those evidence and probably the SSS the military intelligence will be made to come and give the evidence are you saying that Jonathan knows the sponsors and he's refusing to prosecute them like what do you think he has to gain from doing that it is very very convenient for Jonathan good luck for this Boko Haram to continue one it will disenfranchise northern part of the country where you have the largest number of votes from the country is it not what's the coincidence that all these issues are happening in opposition states Kano was bombed eight times within the last one month. Eight times. So many places were bombed in Kano. In Bauchi, uh, no, not Bauchi, in Yobe, in uh, Adamawa, in Borno, of course, the headquarters of bombing. All, so these are the kind of things because <clears throat> with crisis, who will even come to vote? Would you come out to vote and be killed? That's why we, like I, have honestly sacrificed my life because in Nigeria if you don't come out to struggle you will either be killed at the filling station or you'll be killed on the road you or you'll be killed in a motor park or passing the road so you better come out and speak you speak out if they kill you so be it in any case we are mortals somehow somehow you will die so if anybody thinks probably by killing me God bless him personally I have sacrificed my life I am willing to die for my country if coming out to say the truth will mean me being eliminated, so be it. Probably those coming behind me will enjoy. I was going to say that it's not just the opposition uh, states, though, because like Kaduna was also under attack. Uh, Bauchi has been attacked in Gombe. That's, that's true, but that's true. But then when you come to the whole picture, all this thing is happening in the northern part of the country yeah. where you have the largest number of votes. So you find out that, look, when they tell you, in fact, I'm even wondering how we can come out campaigning these days. Because we'll be scared in the northern part of the country. Today, my party had a large gathering in Oshun, Oshogbo. But that kind of gathering cannot happen in Kano mm. or Kaduna because you'll be scared. You don't know what will happen to you. So the government is deliberately instilling fear in the electorates. So it is very convenient for Jonathan not to fight Boko Haram or any terror for that matter in the northern part of the country. But a lot of Nigerians believe that, oh, uh, it's people that don't like Jonathan that are behind Boko Haram in order to discredit his government. You're saying otherwise. You know, that is stupid nonsense. Because how can you arrange for you to kill yourself? How? So if anybody is trying to discredit Jonathan, they should take the fight to Baelsa, where he comes from. No, it's got nothing to do with him. We don't hate Jonathan. He is, our, he is my president today, as of today. He is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But I want him arrested so that there will be peace in Nigeria. With him continuing as president of Nigeria, Nigeria will know no peace because he is clueless. He has no idea. I mean, it's very convenient. The only idea he has, how do I continue to make sure there is trouble in the northern part of the country? You see, unfortunately for him, he doesn't know that, look, the Boko Haram crisis that started in Borno, which the government sees it as northern or northeast problem, started coming to northwest. Abuja, if care is not taken, it will go to Bayelsa. Because this is a national problem. It is not a northern problem. So the earlier Mr. President sees it as our problem collectively, not because of his election, you know, the better. So that if he thinks he disenfranchises the northerners from voting next year so that he can have the votes from his part of the country, well, 
may God bless him. I hope uh, we'll all be alive to see that kind of thing happens. You're already here, so do you have an appointment to speak with President Obama, or what's the game plan to get President Jonathan arrested? Well, I'm looking for the appointment to see him, and I hope I'll see Obama either today or tomorrow, at least before Jonathan leaves. If I don't get to see him, I'll drop my letter in the White House, think so that even if they don't arrest him now, any time Jonathan is out of Nigeria, American government, probably with the aid of UN, will be arrested. Not to undermine what you're trying to do, but to be honest, do you think that America really that they don't know what is going on in Nigeria? Do you like? Do you, are you confident that your letter is what they are waiting for, or your meeting with Obama is what they are waiting for? Like, do you think they don't know what's going on right now, what? or or do you think they are knowingly turning blind eye? Well, we we think they have feigned ignorance. So since they are feigning ignorance, we will remind them. I will tell them that look true true people are dying in nigeria and we are reminding you that a bomb was planted at un building in abuja we're also reminding you eight bombs were detonated in kano last week jana buhari was attempt i mean there was an attempt on his life nahiro bauchi el zaki zaki him his supporters 30 and his three children uh, um, boko haram alleged boko haram members are being slaughtered by the military and so on and so forth so many people are kidnapped the chubo girls which the american first lady also came out to say bring out bring back our girls that look it's happening and there's they are doing nothing about it but this same america was just in nigeria to investigate you know and this they, they came out they said they didn't find anything well you see what i'm saying it is also very convenient for america to allow him to work for now but then i'm also telling the americans that if America's interest is oil in Nigeria and the crisis in the Northeast can also affect the oil, the production of oil. So I want to remind the Americans, the earlier they intervene in the I mean, in arresting this man, the better for its American interest as well. So that there will be peace and tranquility in Nigeria. So that there will be good governance in Nigeria. And they prophesize good governance every day. Obama keeps saying American values and so on. They don't agree with torture and so on. So now the number one torturer of people in Nigeria is in America. Let them arrest him. Mine is one man riot squad. I know nobody in America. I don't know anybody to mobilize, but I can bring myself here. I brought myself. I'm an elite where I come from in Nigeria. So I'm here on my own also to have a one-man riot squad against President Jonathan Goodluck. Um, not to bust your bubbles, but what if America doesn't show interest in what you stand for? Well, that does not mean we shall not keep fighting. If they don't, we will fight and fight. If Obama does not show interest, one day someday another American president will come. And in the interest of the American people also, you know, in the interest of the economic interest of American people, they will rise up against ill government of Jonathan leading the most populated black African country, I mean, a, a country in the world. If there is crisis in Nigeria, imagine refugees from the northern part of the country flowing into Chad, Cameroon, Niger. There will be no peace in the whole of Western Africa, South, uh, West, uh, West of Africa. Wow, oh, thank you so much for...